I did not plan on doing this video. I don't, well, I know why I'm doing this because uh, I'm actually quite impressed with this kit. This is the uh, Flame Toys Furai Model Drift. And uh, I just started building this thing and I realized this is actually quite impressive. And I think this is uh, probably uh, their best uh, model kit so far. I know I said it with every single release that they did, but uh, Flame Toys just uh, keep making their stuff better and better. You know, there's more. Uh, this, is th this thing is a lot. Uh, this thing is an improvement over Megatron. This kit just came out in uh, January 1st, 2020. It's being distributed now uh, through Bluefin. So, yeah, uh, I think you should be able to get it at most hobby shops. I'm pretty sure Bonds and Nobles will be getting this soon. I don't know if GameStop is still getting stuff on Bluefin. But uh, if they do, it uh, might be available there. Uh, retails were around 50 bucks. Uh, it's uh, it's a pretty damn nice kit so far. Now, one thing to be aware of is uh, the foil stickers here. Um, yeah, you can just tell from the size of these foils that it is probably going to suck. Matter of fact, uh, I already put one on here. You know, actually, I put two of them on here. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be too happy with these. Some of them are easier to put on than the others, like this one right here. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to have a good time putting on that those foils, I can tell you that right now. But uh, the bill itself is actually really nice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to panel line this or not. Um, I'm, I'm kind of at a point uh, in my... Uh, you know, model kit building careers where I just don't really care about the panel line anymore because, uh, you know, I can see the details perfectly fine. So, <laughs> I know, like, panel lining makes it look a lot better in some cases. But, uh, you know, ever since I started collecting the uh, figures, uh, you know, none of them has panel line on them. And they look, they look pretty damn good. So, you know, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and just continue building this kit. Apparently a lot of the parts on these, this kit is undergated, so that's definitely interesting. Especially on these forearm parts, where you have to very carefully cut out. Uh, yeah, I'm actually quite surprised about these undergated parts. <laughs> uh, this one right here. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to get to. But it makes it so much better. That's undergated. So there's that. And the, the plastic is actually pretty good. It's really easy to cut into with a hobby knife. So you can clean these things up pretty well. Yeah. Alright. So this arm is almost done. You do have a lot of level over parts on this kit. You have these parts. Uh, I think you can actually reuse these if you want to change the color. Uh, these are for the uh, legs, so you can have that if you want to, just an option. Uh, you also have these knee parts, you know, if you want to make the knee parts white. I don't know if why you want to do that, but you have the option to do that if you want to. Those uh, knee parts, if you want to have a white. Uh, basically, you have the up, like, you can make like an option color version. You can have the white knees, like this. You know, you can change up the color if you want to, which is quite interesting. I also have these parts right here for the leg. I, I don't know what happened there. Usually uh, this only happens when a company messed up like the mold or something. They molded some parts in that color or they just want to, oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. They, they tried to fill out the runner with the parts. So yeah, I, I think that's what they did. But this is the first time I've seen these many leftover parts in a, in a, a Flame Toys model kit. You know, that's really a lot, man. It's, wow. Okay, but you know what? They're, they're useful. Like, you can reuse them for other stuff. So, it's definitely uh, something uh, worth mentioning in the bill video. You can see I'm, I'm actually really tired. I spent a lot of time doing research about the whole, uh, what's going on with the Asian community, why they're putting all the Gunpla content as kit content. Apparently, a lot of the uh, Asian uh Gunplug content creators are putting their uh, marking their uh, content as kit content on purpose. 
I have a theory, though. I think their uh, their sponsors are getting them. You know, a lot of them are sponsored by uh, you know retailers. So you know, the retailers and all of a sudden, you know, they 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 uh, gotta make sure the kids are still watching the video. If they make marking the stuff as not for kids, then kids won't be watching it, and then kids won't be buying the model kits. So yeah, sponsors, man. So I think that's a theory, but it seems like if you uh, majority of the community are perfectly fine with Gunpla being marked as for kids. So I mean, if that's the thing, then it's gonna be for kids. There, the views number outnumbers uh, the English content creators. You know, just by sheer number of views. So by that, you know, uh, once the YouTube algorithm catch on, uh, you can bet that mo all of these my content, everybody else's content is just gonna be marked for kids. <laughs> uh, it's gonna suck. Like I I'm still fighting it every time. Uh, they mark one of my videos for kids. I uh, I try to reverse it to the point where uh, the system won't allow me to do it anymore. And even when they do that, I still I still fight it. You know, I was like, okay, you know what? If that it's gonna be like that, I'm just gonna delete the video. <laughs> that way, nobody can watch it. Uh, and they really they they always go after uh, my most uh, viewed videos, like videos that have like thousands of views. Uh, they're the the ones that get hit first. <laughs> So yeah, I I lost a lot of videos to that, uh, but you know what? No regrets. I did download them, especially the ones that have a lot of views, <laughs> so I can uh, I can put them on another platform in the future. So yeah, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I, I put a lot of work into those videos. So anyway, uh, hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, but yeah, a lot of them are okay with it. You go on the forums. Uh, you I, I actually went on the forums, and then the people on the forums are surprisingly like okay with it. They're like, you know what? It's fine. Like we don't we don't really have a problem with having our content, uh, you know, being uh, uh, being made for kids. You know, the the thing is, okay, I, I know a lot of these uh, content creators in Asia. Uh, they're not just like you know sponsored by their. Uh, Sponsors, you know, retailers, they're pay employees. Yeah, they uh, they actually work for those companies. So, you know, in a way, I feel like that's kind of shady. You know, yeah, I know you guys are selling the uh, the model kits, and you guys have you know a lot of customers who are children. But uh, you know, th this is like it's, this is something that's actually going to impact the worldwide community. You know. <laughs> I went on to the Japan, uh, the, well, the Korean forums. I had to be, uh, you know, I had to use a lot of auto translate because I, I don't really know any Korean at all. I went on to the Japanese forum. Um, I I really didn't learn much, but you know, uh, from the people I talked to, they're okay with Gunpla being sold to kids. You know, especially high grade SDs. That's perfectly fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, but uh, I went on to the Chinese forums, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I started on the Chinese forum, and I really don't like going back to the Chinese forums, because, uh, man, th those guys are elitists. Like, man, you don't know what elitist is until uh, you go on the Chinese forums. Man. Uh, I first started on the Chinese forums asking people how to uh, use an airbrush, and they just shut me down. It's like, oh my god, this guy don't know how to use an airbrush. What a freaking noob. Get the fuck out of here. And not only that, I was asking them about like high grade model kits, and they're like, no, if you're a kid, if you're an adult, you should not be building a high grade model kit. Like you should go nowhere near a high grade model kit. You should start out with master grades and third party <laughs> because and resin conversion. Or resin kits, and and if you're really a big boy, you collect metal builds and metal robot demolition. That's it. Leave all the high grades, low end master grades to little kits, and yeah, that's why. Like you know, I uh, I haven't been on those forums in years, because man, those guys were just <laughs> not. I, I I just don't want to be part of that community. Also, this is one of the reasons why I only do my uh, videos in English. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely have an issue with, like, elitist people. You know, in the uh, English-speaking community, there are a lot of elitist modelists, uh, modelers, you know, people who, uh, you know, who would, like, you know, 
insult people about their builds. It's like, oh my god, you don't know how to build Gunpla because you don't know how to paint. And your builds are absolute trash and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot worse than that in the Chinese community. It's like, it's basically bullying. And th it's actually one of the biggest community for Gunpla, you know. Apparently, uh, a lot of people, uh, Gundam and Gunpla is super big in China. Like, I dare to say, at some point, it's probably there's more people who are into Gunpla and Gundam in China than there is people who are into Gunpla and Gundam in Japan. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's a huge, huge number of people who are into uh, Gunpla and Gundam in China. And uh, not all of them like you know like to play nice, so it it really really does kind of suck in that regard. So okay, uh, drip is pretty much done. I think I'm gonna try to put on these f terrible terrible foil stickers, and I'll give you guys a review. So so far, I'm digging it. It looks really good. The proportion is nice. Uh, it reminds me of that uh, two two three hundred dollar figure that I really wanted. Uh, yeah, there, there's like a, uh, how do you say it, the Kuro Karakuri <laughs> uh, figure. It's like basically a Flame Toys version of a Metal Bill or Chogokin, uh, you know. But uh, that, that thing is actually really nice. Yeah, but this model kit, definitely not bad. Alright, so I uh, hope you guys look forward to that review. I, I don't think I have anything else to say about this whole, uh, you know, Gunpla for Kit situation. I think I'm going to just let it roll. If things get bad, uh, I mean, it's already bad for me, so I don't think it can get any worse. I mean, my contents are literally just marked for kids and I can't change it. So I'm just, I'm already deleting like three years worth of work. So, you know, yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm it, it, it's... You know, whatever. I, I kind of don't want to talk about it anymore. I'll, I'll just, like, do other type of model kits. You know, I still have the high-end stuff. Like, the high-end stuff is nowhere near the YouTube Kids app. So that's fine. Like, that is not going to do anything. Uh, I can continue doing that if I want. So, uh, maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> okay. And I think that is pretty much it for uh, this build video. I hope you guys are excited for the... Uh, uh, I want to know where this sticker goes. I hope I didn't put it in the wrong place. No, I think this is the right place for it. So, hope you guys look forward to the review. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are telling me to do Kotobukiya stuff. I am exploring that idea. Because I have a sponsor for it. So, <laughs> they want to sponsor Kotobukiya. And I can get the stuff for free where I don't have to pay anything to make these contents. That's perfectly fine. I don't care uh, if they end up being on the YouTube Kids app. Because it would be completely inappropriate for the YouTube Kids. Thanks for watching.